Hello there, thanks a lot for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard, and welcome to part two of a study of this Jimi Hendrix Experience concert tour blank from the spring of 1969. Now if you go over and watch part one real quickly, that explains the whole setup and everything, and I show you the actual poster from Maple Leaf Gardens, Toronto, and in this part I'm going to show you nine other examples of this tour blank in use by photographic representation. So here you've got the night before Toronto on May 2nd at Kobo Arena in Detroit, Michigan. And that six and a half dollar high ticket price was the highest of all these ten posters I'm showing you. And then the night after Toronto on May 4th you've got Syracuse, New York here. And interestingly notice how the time was changed by hand from 8 to 7.30 p.m. Next up is Tuscaloosa, Alabama on May 7th. This show was co-promoted by the Cotillion Club of the University of Alabama. Opening act, instead of Noel Redding, it says Cat Mother, of course Cat Mother, and the All Night Newsboys, whose album Hendrix produced. They did play most of this tour with Jimmy, but this is the only poster I've seen on which they get their love. Then we go to Charlotte, North Carolina on May 9th. And you know it's sort of too bad the opening act reverted back to Noel Redding, because opening this show was Chicago Transit Authority, whose brilliant debut album entered Billboard's top LP chart just the very next week. Boy, what a fun concert poster that would have been. Next up we go to Charleston, West Virginia on May 10th. And as long as we're on this date, let's take a look at the small black and white handbill version of the David Bird poster. Here it is significantly blown up so you can see it, and obviously less striking without the color. But, you know, it was an advertising piece of the day that did get the word out. Baltimore, Maryland for May 16th, and boy, this has a low ticket price of only $3.00. That's matched by only one other poster I'm showing you today, Charlotte, North Carolina. And the very next night of the tour, May 17th, finds it in Providence, Rhode Island. Sorry, by the way, about the weak image, but you know, I source these images wherever I can find them. Then there's a slight shift in the design as the tour advances into the 20s. May 21st here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, so it does have that printed in USA down at the bottom margin, but no opening acts anymore, and the Cora Promotions credit has been moved to the top. But you know, that top white margin was always pretty wide and always sort of looked like something should be up there. But nonetheless, this show was canceled related to Jimmy's Toronto drug bust earlier in the tour. And finally, another weak image to show you, but it's educational, of course, May 24th in San Diego, California. Once again, you've got Cora at the top and no support acts listed. By the way, have you noticed that all of these, right where my finger is, say one show only? Well, every poster I showed you had that, you know, one show only, sort of a good selling point to make people, you know, help them scramble for tickets. Closing out this part two with the real in-person example from Maple Leaf Gardens, which I talk about quite a bit in part one. By the way, the tour would conclude with three shows in Honolulu, Hawaii. Only two were scheduled, but third one was added when he had technical problems during the first show. The third one was actually a freebie. So, you know, if you know of any examples of this that I haven't shown, please send me images if you would. I'd like to eventually get an image of every poster from this tour, just for educational purposes and thoroughness. Jimi Hendrix Experience. Be sure to hop over to part one and get all the background, and uh, where I talk about the design and David Bird and everything. And uh, I really appreciate your time. It's been really fun to show you these. You get up to a number like ten, ten different examples of one poster by such a legend like Hendrix, and it's just great fun. Thanks a lot for dropping by, and we'll see you again for something soon. Probably less than 10, though. <laughs> okay, have a good day. Bye-bye.